10 provinces, three territories, 350 local and regional chambers and boards of trade, more than 175,000 members and counting. We're the voice of business working for Canada. The highlight of my year has been traveling across Canada, no doubt, meeting with uh, provincial chambers and, and local chambers from coast to coast and uh, realizing, you know, as I go across Canada, how powerful our network really is. Lorsque je rencontre un ministre à Ottawa, soit le ministre des Finances ou le ministre de l'Industrie et du Commerce, il est clair que le ministre reconnaît que la Chambre de commerce du Canada représente 170 000 membres à travers le Canada. When the Chamber of Commerce speaks, ministers listen. I'm the guy as Executive Vice President of Policy at the Chamber who's responsible for ensuring that the agenda that we've got, that we get from our members from a variety of sources, is well heard by government. And looking at tax reform in Canada, trade liberalization both within, within the country, between provinces, still barriers there, but internationally as well, bring China, India into sharper focus, continue to work with the United States, deal with our energy issues that are of paramount importance to members, climate change. Then there's the overarching issue of the skills issue, and we've got some ideas on that as well. One of the things I hear from my colleagues is that uh, their local, of, local chamber of commerce has come to them about an issue and uh, they have this position or that position and uh, that carries a lot of weight obviously with uh, individual cabinet members and members of caucus and because of that it carries a lot of weight with me and uh, there's no question that the chamber of commerce and the voice uh, that they have representing business owners is extraordinarily important in terms of the decisions that government makes. The Chamber is front and centre in national and international policy discussions, but so often it's the day-to-day -day work at the provincial, territorial or municipal level that makes a bottom-line difference for our members. We have a taxation committee that's been working really closely with the staff at City Hall over the last couple of years, a recognized issue around the level of our industrial and commercial taxation. City Council just recently passed a bylaw that will bring that a lot closer to the range of fairness, so a real victory for our members. Uh, we were the first Chamber of Commerce in our region anyway that was successful in having Sunday shopping approved at our um, local level. The Chamber fought for Sunday shopping and we won. We're in the uh, seaplane business. We're the largest in the world. So we have to deal with a lot of agencies, Transport Canada being one, rules are changing all the time. You know, they'll throw some curveballs at us, then we've got a call on the chamber to come to our rescue. Uh, there's, there's a lot of organizations out there, but I would have to say, you know, the chamber is one of the number one priorities for Harbour Air. The Chamber is the voice of business in Parliament, provincial and territorial legislatures and in municipal councils across Canada. But for tens of thousands of small and medium-sized firms, it's also the organization to join for networking, professional development, business growth and more. I was an individual that grew up in business, uh, started very young in business, we've been going 30 years now and have grown it to uh, 300 people in our, in our team. You, know, you could have gone the university route and, and spent more time in school. I was always in too much of a rush, so my shortcut was through the chamber movement. Geeks Unlimited is primarily an outsourced on-site IT company. Um, we joined the chamber um, primarily because you know the networking component. Uh, it's, it's a great place for to meet other businesses, and this is wonderful being able to be put in an environment where we can actually get together on a regular basis and meet these people and meet new people and talk to them about um, what it is that makes us tick inside as entrepreneurs. Networking is a vital part of any um, growing business and our franchise strongly recommend when we first bought the franchise that we join the local chamber of commerce and for us the Peterborough Chamber of Commerce has been a perfect fit. Just to get our name out there and, and start to be recognized within the community. For the Chamber Network, like its member companies, quality products and services and professional management practices are key to continued growth in a crowded marketplace. That's what the Chamber Accreditation Program is all about. 
chambers from all regions of the country have gone through the process to improve their operations and deliver added value to their members. The accreditation process is all about ensuring that the Chamber of Commerce in any community has the basics, minutes, board meetings, financial statements, good policy, networking, communications. Initially, the first time through, it's a lot of work. Is it worthwhile? Absolutely. Pas moins qu'avec une accréditation comme celle-là, c'est un plus pour l'organisation. C'est un plus pour l'équipe, c'est un plus pour les bénévoles, c'est un plus aussi pour nos entreprises. It's like an ISO 9000 for Chambers of Commerce. The Chamber Movement has been the leading voice of business in Canada for more than a century, but the respect we've earned along the way has also come from looking beyond the bottom line to the health and vitality of our country and the communities where we work, live and raise our families. From General Motors to uh, Johnson's Menswear on the Main Street, we're 900 members and there's more to the Oshawa Chamber of Commerce than just business and we'll, we'll do anything to make our community stronger. The Chamber Movement is certainly promoting a more competitive business environment and best practices in business both nationally and internationally, but first and foremost our goal is to improve the life of all Canadians. Lorsqu'on parle à la Chambre de Commerce, on parle aux Canadiens, aux Canadiens. In every single community across this country, these are the influential people. They're coaching hockey teams. They're members of the social clubs. Uh, they support their church. Um, they're the people who make things happen in the biggest cities in the country and in the smallest hamlets. And that's Canada. Our mission is to ensure a brighter future for all Canadians. Together, we are the power of the network.